Okay, we have here today an interesting problem from JEE Main 2002. So we have something really different here. We're given that for this integral from zero to pi over four, tan to the n of x dx, we're saying this is gonna be i sub n, but what we have to find is the limit as n is approaching infinity of n times i sub n, which is this, plus i sub n minus two. So to get started with this, I'm just going to start with this integral. And what I'm going to do is the same thing we would do if we were deriving the power reduction formula for integrals of tangent, which is I can actually split this up. So we'll have the same bounds. But then for tan to the n of x, what I can do is I can write this as tan to the n minus 2 of x times tan squared of x, just noticing that's the same as this. And we'll have our dx here. But then for tan squared x, I can use this identity that tan squared x is the same thing as secant squared x minus one. But then what that allows me to do is distribute this in here and then split this into two integrals. So let's see how this is gonna look. This whole thing's gonna be i sub n. So for the first one, we're integrating from zero to pi over four. Then we're gonna have tan n minus two of x times secant squared x. And then for the second one, let's just bring the minus sign out front. So we're going to have minus 0 to pi over 4. And then we're just going to have this tan n minus 2 of x. But the good news here is you'll notice this right here, this is basically like our original integral, but with just a different exponent. So this right here is actually going to be our i sub n minus 2. And that's going to help us out later because we need that over here. So let's just keep an eye on that. But then coming over here, what we can do because we have secant squared x dx and we have tangent, on this one we can do a u substitution. So I'm just gonna say, we'll set u equal to tan of x. And then for our du, du is gonna be this stuff, which is just secant squared x dx. So we'll go ahead with this substitution. So here's our i sub n here. Now, first for the bounds, evaluating pi over four, plugging in tan of pi over four, that's just one evaluating tan at zero, that's just zero. So we're integrating now from zero to one. This right here is gonna become just u to the n minus two. And then all this stuff's just du. And like, and like we found before, this is actually just gonna be i sub n minus two. But now on this right here, I can just integrate this using the power rule, right? Just adding plus one on that and putting it into the denominator. So this is gonna become u n minus one over n minus one, evaluated from zero to one. We'll just bring this thing over. But now when we evaluate this at zero, it's just gonna be zero. So we're just evaluating this at one. So plugging one in here, we just get one over n minus one, and then we'll bring this thing along for the ride. And now this gives me a nice formula for i sub n. So that's about all we can do at this. But then we need to get back to our end goal. What we're really trying to do is get back to this limit. And for this limit, what we really need is we need a value of i sub n plus i sub n minus two. Well, all I really need to do is add i sub n minus two on both sides of this equation. So by doing that, this is gonna cancel here. And so we have our value for i sub n plus i sub n minus two, and that's just gonna be one over n minus one. So all we need to do now is just take this value, plug it into our limit and finish it off. Okay, so now that we're back to this limit, let's just write it out. We have the limit, we wanna find the limit as n is approaching infinity of n times this thing, which is just this. So we'll just plug in one over n minus one here. So let's just make this clear. We're really just looking for the limit of n over n minus one. And we could try to get formal and factor this and everything, but really what's happening, the minus one is gonna be nothing in terms of this limit when we're going off to infinity. So this is insignificant. The n's are gonna cancel. And the result of this limit is just gonna be one. So there you have it. Really fun problem from JEE Main 2002. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.